Welcome to my motorhome winter project. So, what is this all about? Well, I'm getting older and I've had my motorhome now, oh, best part of five years easy. Uh, it's probably, might even be a bit longer. And one of the things I've noticed with getting older is I actually fancy a fixed bed, okay? So, as you're aware that, uh, or if you are aware, sorry, you might not be aware, I have a 2008 Peugeot Boxer, which is the 2.2 diesel, and it's been a great motorhome to us. We've, we've loved it because of the fact that it's got the full U-shape lounge in, uh, in the back, You've got the full fuel windows around it as well for the view. We've really had a lot of fun. But I've got a couple of projects coming up that I want to do. Very exciting projects at that. Um, and it's now time to, I would say, uh, move on and trade it in for another one. So, what have I bought? Nothing. Why? What a fucking rip-off out there. Right, you got offered buttons for your own one, and they're, they're taking top dollar for what you're going to replace it with. So, here's a for instance, okay? To go six years newer than that, right? Now, bearing in mind... I still haven't got 30,000 mile on this thing, okay? And it's just needing tidied up a bit. So, £30,000 plus my motor was not enough to upgrade to a six-year motor. So, although it's six-year newer, it's got higher mileage. Now, mine, as I say, doesn't even got 30,000. So, you know what? I made a decision... For the sake of a bed, I think 30 grand is a lot of money. And I'll guarantee you, anybody that's watching this with a motorhome will be going, you're right, we did the same thing. But I'll tell you what, it's got to the stage now with the popularity of COVID that they have went from reasonable prices to absolute stupid money to bed them, stupid taxation classes, and, well, one of the biggest problems I've got with this is that is not ULES friendly. So, any place that I need to go into with a ULES zone and drive in, I'll be charged, I'm not sure, depends, it could be £12, could be £16. That's a debate for another video, though. The ULES scam. That's all that is, it's a scam. So... I thought to myself, for 30 grand, I could buy myself a cracking bed and put it in there. But also thought myself, for 30 grand, do I really need a bed? So, here's where the project now begins. And today is very, very, very exciting news, for me anyway, because I've actually started work on the journey to turn my 15-year-old motorhome into a fairly new showcase motorhome. Now, this is going to be a new expense spared project, I'll have you know. You might think I'm daft throwing my good money at an old motorhome. Well, when you see what it's going to end up as, and when you see what it's going to cost, you'll probably think twice if you're looking for a motorhome about spending fifteen, sixty thousand pounds at these ludicrous shops that are overcharging you. And another thing as well, this uh, habitation check. Well, that's just another con like the fucking Ulez, thanks to Sadiq Khan. Because all a habitation check is is that your 
well, it's mainly for damp, but I think they also check the gas lines as well. I could be wrong. I've only ever had one habitation check done on this vehicle, and that was because, well, it come with I've never bothered with a hub check before in my life, and I'm not going to wait to start now. So, let's go and show you what I've done, and also let you see what I'm going to do in the forthcoming episodes. So, let's go into the iPhone now and start following on that. <laughs> This was the start of the project, well, not the project when we bought it. Um, had some great times away in this thing, even down as far as, well, this next picture, Land's End. And even in the atrocious weather, we've had some great times, as you can see. So what have I done? I've stuck it in the paint shop. This is it preparing it. And you'll see now, that we've even got all the trim off to look inside. Quick coat of blue. And there she is, all done and dusted. So I think now it is time for the big reveal. And here she is parked at the house. And there you go, as you see, 58 plate, it's a 2008. The paint job I'm more than happy with. And as you can see, well, she no longer looks like an old bus. And then there's obviously the details to be done, like the headlights. I've actually done the marker lights at the top. They're actually changed now. They're LED. I've actually done... You might see through the hole there. New brakes, new pads. Oh, and actually, well, I'm at it. You coil springs. So, so all in all, I've already spent a few bob on this rust bucket, getting it ready. All right, mate. <laughs> but there's other daft things to do. So, like, see if you see the cycle rut right here. All these, like this. They're all red. They're all faded. Well, fear no more. There's even something as shiny as that. I've got starting like windy out here now, so one of the things I do want to show you is oh it's locked. Oh well. I've even got the uh, well if we come in the side you can see it in the cab here, look. Even the inside of the cab has been painted blue. All done properly and professionally. So what else have we got planned? Well, as you can see, the lights in here are a bit outdated. So, they're getting upgraded to LEDs. The wiring, it's a bit untidy. I've made my mind up, I'm keeping it. There is a 100 watt solar panel going right up there on the roof. This bag here, what's this full of? I've already ordered it, I've already got it through. Look at that. They are all changing to blue on the cycle rack. I've got a fucking garbagey looking tail light. Hence no more. Also the colours on the straps on the end. These are the extender bars for uh, it's because of the, the, the length of the e-bikes the e that we've got. I've had to put extender bars on. And well there you go. I mean even looking at the state of that look That's how I'm going to change. Uh, what else have we got planned? Well, one of the biggest projects now the outside done will be obviously the garbage interior. So, it's a bit dated. It's a bit bland. I'm going to do my own theme on this. Myself and Mrs. Random Therapy are going to have a massive input into how we're going to change this. Uh, what else am I going to do? Well, I've got a bed storage here, right? Up above. Never going to use that. So, we'll convert that into something. And it'll be something very good. The mirror stays. 
And the reason the mirror stays is, I like to see myself. <laughs> but the pierce the resistance that I mentioned early doors was a bed. 30 grand for a bed. Here's the suggestion I've come up with in this. As you can see, it's a full U-shaped lounge. We've actually bought this mattress here, okay? I don't look how thick it is. I've actually used it, okay? And this is the way this is going to sit. And it's a roll-out mattress. I've got to get a cube of foam and get it made for in there. But this way, the bed stays up all the time. And look. We still have sitting room. So all in all, I'm actually, uh, well, to say I'm excited on this project is a bit of an understatement because I was so prepared to get rid of this motorhome to go and upgrade. But that was like every time I put up for sale, it was stupid offers. I mean, I was quite prepared to spend quite a few grand to upgrade. But the fact that I couldn't get rid of it made me think somebody's helping me. There is somebody telling me, keep it and just do it up. And that is what I'm going to do. And that's what this project is all about. Give me something to do over the winter months. And hey, at the same time, there's, there's loads of different things going to be happening, but I'm still going to be using this. We're still going to be away for Christmas and New Year. That's going to be an adventure you're going to want to watch. Uh, the, the other plans I've got is, well, like, as I said, fitting the solar panel, that's going to be getting rerouted. The gas central heating, I've already got a cheap Chinese diesel heater. I've had to buy this. Unfortunately, I've broke this. I've just bashed against it. Like, I've tried to repair it, but I've got no option. I'm going to have to replace it, and I've ordered one. And that's costing us £65 just for a bit of plastic. And what's the well, irony is, I never use that fire because I've got the gas central heating, which I use with this, from the cheap Chinese diesel heater. That I would highly recommend to anybody. That's plumbed right into my fuel tank. There. That's what works it. I've got plenty of heat in this thing. So... Um, but the stuff I'm going to be doing is stuff like, uh, well, you can maybe, uh, I'll, I'll come up here with it actually, just to, I'd be as well letting you into it. So the front end interior is going to get a wee change as well, alright? So I'm looking at, I'm going to be fitting a Wi-Fi reversing camera. I thought about doing the mirror one, but I decided no, I'm, I'm going to go for this for the box. I've already done the upgrade to the, the radio, which gives me dab, because I put this additional wee box in. So, there's quite a lot I've actually done on this, to which I'm quite happy of. But the main thing is, is that, well, as I said, even sitting here, and I'm seeing this blue colour here, you can see the difference that it's actually made. The green in the seats, well, blue and green should never be seen. As you rest, always say it in Scotland. It's a football thing. But hey. Well, <laughs> but, oh. <laughs> I'm just fucking... <laughs> I went to move... I went to move the... I went to move the headrest. That's what that's called. That's called the headrest. Yes, I went to move the headrest. And I pulled it right out. <laughs> oh, fucking pop. But, anyway. I diverse. So... There is going to be loads of projects, and hopefully, through this whole entourage of doing this, you know what? I'll maybe think twice about the motorhome that you've got. Give it a bit of winter TLC. And you know what? Let's do all this together. Let's all do this journey together. Hey, there's a comment section below after every video as well. So, use it. Give me some ideas. Something that you've done. It may be something as simple that I've already done. Upgrade to LED. I could never get this finger thing right. Right. Install. 
Oh, the power's off. <laughs> Install additional USBs. You know, there is plenty that can be done. But what I'm really looking forward to is some of the bigger stuff just to show you how easy it is and how much you can enjoy the more home you've already got without spending oh, tens of thousands of pounds. I can guarantee you for less than 10 grand, I'll turn this thing into looking like virtually a new motorhome. So, here's to the future. Here's looking forward. I hope you've liked this. If you have, please hit that thumbs up button and smash that like for us. If you're new, hey, welcome to Random Therapy. I do a bit of absolutely everything. This is a channel which is for everybody for an input and everything is done on cost to my own pocket. I'm not monetized. I'm not affiliated with any big firms or factories or I do not get free gifts. Everything comes out of my own pocket and I do it for you guys because you make this worthwhile for me to do. So, till the next time, I'll see you there. <laughs>